And she's acting like she thinks it's time, but I haven't actually felt a contraption yet. She's definitely acting like something's up, though. <laughs> you know, just sweetie, she's just purring and kneading and rolling around. She's so excited for attention that she's, uh, she won't even hold still long enough for me to tell what's going on. Oh. That felt almost like she was straining for a second. Maybe that was a contraction. I don't know. It's hard to tell when she's standing up and moving around so much. That, that was definitely one. All right, so that means it's time. Yeah, those are definitely contractions. We might have kitten number one coming any minute now. I better tell DJ this for sure now. Contraction. And uh, she's a little calico. Not she doesn't look like she's dilute like mom. She looks like she's just a regular calico. Mom's doing a wonderful job of getting everything cleaned up. Seems very healthy. That's our first one, the calico. And number two is a tuxie. I know he looks perfectly black from this angle, but uh, definitely has all white with white paw all white underneath and all white paws, but no white on his face. So maybe not quite a classic tuxie. I'm saying his. I haven't checked. It could be a boy or a girl. There you can see his big white feet. So he's got little white gloves in front. There you go. You can see one right there. You can see a little bit of how he's got white on his neck. Just like that. So there you go. Now, the real question is, are we done? And the answer is, I don't know, because the doc said that she only saw two kittens originally. And then I keep feeling something in here that feels like it could be another kitten. It's so hard to tell sometimes, though. Feels like more than intestines to me. Right about there, that feels very kidney. I guess we'll find out. And then, as far as it goes, uh, we've seen one placenta, and uh, we gotta kind of keep an eye out to see, make sure that that second one comes out eventually. He has a little bit of blood on him from the placenta. That's perfectly normal. The umbilical cord was a little extra bloody when mom cut it. No big deal. That's just going to take a while to come off. So that's kitten number three there. He's gray. I know it looks kind of black in this light, but he's gray. So he's dilute like mom. But uh, just the black and white, no orange because he's 
Oh, that's, that's blood. That's not orange. See, he's a little pinky. Um, here we go. He's got some on his face too, but that's fine. That'll clean right off. Focus. There we go. He's like a custard kitty. He's got some little stripes you can see. Pretty gray, I think. I guess we'll see when he gets all completely dried off, but he just turned up. So that was it. That's three. I'm pretty sure that's it anyway. I'm going to say that's it. If the fourth one turns up, we'll all be surprised. But I felt pretty well. I mean, there's just not enough in, in there to be a kitten. She did a great job. She's obviously had a lot of kittens before. These are her last three. And she gets to retire. You did a good job. Real good job. All three of the actual deliveries were so fast and easy. They were just one push and the kitten came right out. She did a lot of build up to the first one though. Real nice work, kiddo. Proud of you. But I felt pretty sure we only had three. I was wrong. But now she is, you can feel everything. She's, there's definitely not a fifth hiding in there. But this is number four, and this has got to be one of the silliest looking kittens that we have ever had at the Academy. Look at this guy. Who I, I do think is a boy, but we'll get to that for sure tomorrow. Look at this. He looks just like, like Alfalfa or something from the Little Rascals. Uh, focus, focus, camera. Ah, for crying out loud. Anyway, you can see. And that's the only black except for his tail, which is white at the very, very end. The rest of him is all white, except for this crazy parted hairdo. Too bad about my focus. Let me uh, let me start another one real quick. See if we. Number four. I think that we've got three boys and a girl, with the calico obviously being the girl, but uh, I'm not going to swear to that until I get a better chance to look at them later on. I do think that that's, I mean, that's it though. We're done for sure for real this time. So we got number one, our calico, number one. And then number two, which is black and, and with white boots and a white belly. Number three is the little custard kitten here. And then number four is our ridiculous alfalfa, who's still a little wet. Good job, Mom. Every time I think I can get a good shot of his face, he turns. Well, no, 
now we got to stay here and eat more pistachios until I know for sure that he can latch on. Buddy, you're never going to push through her. Here, is this a nipple up here for you? I think it is. Let's see if I can help you. What do you think? You ready for this? Right here? Yeah. Well, right for it. Well, looks like he's not really getting it, but that's all right. We're close. I'll work on him. 